Let's all go to Cargonia, land of stolen things. Obey the quartermaster, unless he is a link. Cargo takes out the station, find more stuff to take. But the boss is never satisfied until the station breaks. Hey folks, Tex of the Black Pants Legion here. And I have found the time to record again. It's been a while. Welcome to Oil Chucked, friends. A land of plenty and not so many smart dwarves. Let me walk you through where we've been recently. I'm trying to get them to get all this shit out of the fucking trade depot, but they keep not doing it. I'm expanding my holdings here. My miners are doing really well. Got a lot more areas for furniture and various storage. I'm gonna probably try to make an access tunnel, I think, through here. Just because, holy shit, do we have a lot of stuff. This is a very cluttered fort. A few people have wandered off and died. A few people have been murdered. Sometimes people explode. Uh, Sometimes people get murdered by the militia. Sometimes they pick a fight with the wrong guy and, you know. But hey, you know, this dwarf here in the hospital is actually cleaning things up. He's being a good boy. We got miners mining. We got people doing things. We got a lot of bards. Oh my god, do we have a lot of bards. The roofing project continues. Um, quite well, actually. And we're, we're doing all right. I had to tweak a lot of people's behaviors because those fucking fisher dwarves were just going crazy. I mean, every few minutes, just... That's the sound of, the, of, of them being choked by the militia. Just get out of here. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Um, we have enormous stockpiles of everything. Hmm. So, here we go. Happy, happy, happy. I mean, people are hanging out here. A lot of bards are hanging out here, probably singing songs of the Dwarf Jesus and stuff. What's the Dwarf Jesus look like, I wonder? Dwarf Jesus would be sitting there like, Yos bigger nails! Ya pansy bastard. You call that a cross? You call that a hammer? Yeah, I think a dwarf Jesus would be pretty mean. Dwarf Jesus. Forges a bridge to walk on water. Yeah. So, yeah, our dwarven housing project is ongoing. I mean, this is enormous. If if there's not enough uh, after this point, they can go fuck themselves. Um, a few more tantrums ongoing. People getting mad and what have you. Um, as is expected. My metal worker keeps getting really sad, and I have more or less told him to shut the fuck up. Because I'm, I'm tired of his issues. I, I just... I don't care anymore. He, he should just shut the fuck up. It, it's, it's a lot of whining at this point. I know, the fortress isn't great. It's, it's okay. Let's see. I'm gonna get him to make some bone crafts. For a while, let's use up all these uh, scattered bones we have. You know, because we have a few. This guy, he's just sad. Let 
Need more male shirts, boys? I think we've got a few. I mean, the militia is actually wearing them now, which is nice. But, uh, hopefully if I have to make a bunch of militia, I want them all to have mail. All right, there, access corridor. It says, unneeds unrotten bone. Oh, these are dwarf parts. Ew. Ew. Okay, that's... That explains a lot. Maybe that's why people are in such a bad mood. Well, uh, oops. As they say. Just a little bit of oops. <laughs> Rock. Ugh, look at all this rock shit we can make. Fuck it, we're back in the we're we're back in the game, boys. Back in the rock game. Can you imagine a rock mug? You know, it reminds me, back in the mall, back in, back when they used to be back when people used to shop at malls frequently. Um, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, uh, early 80s, or early 90s, rather, late 80s, shopping malls were this thing where people went to waste money. So, um, before, before the internet was so common as a shopping medium, there was a really interesting, shall we say, uh, thing where you would find these stores that sold, like, knickknacks. And one of the ones I remember, like, very, very clearly remember, was there's always a store that sold, like, little pewter dragons sitting around crystal spheres. Or there would be pewter and crystal mugs that would have, like, wizards on them and stuff like that. And I always called that the wizard store. You know, like, hey, look, it's the wizard store. And, uh... The mall always had those. They, they, they would sell like that, and they would sell like mall ninja knives, and they would sell just crap. Just really crap. Like stuff you would see at a gun show on one of the side booths where they're like, military memorabilia, and it's all like Chinese made knockoffs of, you know, various artifacts. All right, so. Our stockpiles are getting pretty redonkulous, uh, and I think I could easily trade for anything I needed ever. Um, far beyond, far beyond, yeah, Jesus, look at this. These are my stockpiles, they're just enormous. Making lots of masterpiece mugs and shit, things are good! Uh, All right, let's continue adding our roof. Ah, uh, they're not building enough chalk blocks. Damn you. Okay, I'm gonna tell them to stop making. No, no, not that. Uh, oof. Chalk blocks, that's the, that's the priority right now. A lot of people are getting a little bit oblivious because of the whole crazy thing that keeps happening, but you know, I mean, shit. Need statue? We have several. I guess they just haven't placed them yet. I love that in theory we have a military now. I don't know where the next raid is, but I know that we have a military to use against it if, if one does arrive, you know? Hmm. Yeah, let's create a weapon stock pound just so I can see what we're fucking making. And then yet another food stockpile, because holy shit, have we massively overproduced that. This ought to work. This ought to work nicely. Nice, we're getting axe dwarves and shit. Slowly building that military up. I mean, there's a little blood. 
Or maybe uh, <laughs> they didn't use training weapons, but hey, they're learning. Let's see how fucked up this guy is. He is flimsy and slow to heal. You'll do well in the military. Nice. Way to go, military. I'll just have to keep building these massive stockpiles. Because, I mean, look at this. This is, this is outrageous. This is out fucking rages. Also, I think one of our levers has been destroyed again. So, I'll have to work on that, because they always break that lever. Yep, they broke that lever. Shit. I'll put this lever here. There we go. Because this lever over here is the one that goes to that. There's what remains of that rock, man. I think that's fucking hilarious. I'm surprised this place is still working. It kind of is. It's... There's... Look, okay. There's corpses and skeletons in that bar, which is chock full of people. Slowly bunkering this place up. Nice. Well, we get the numbers now. I mean, I can pave the earth. Not strike the earth, pave the earth. How cool is that? Fuck yeah. Pave the earth, my friends. Oh yeah, that fucking tree. Fuck you, tree. The bunker will be complete. Oh shit, I'm out. I'll need more chunk blocks soon. This is like some fucking metal dwarf music, I guess. Metal for dwarves in B major. No, I don't think that's in B. Come on, dwarves. I know you can do this. Maybe. A little bit. I have my doubts. This is impossible. Anyways, we'll get this done. Not a fortification. No, 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 no. Floor. Yeah, I intend to really make this place awesome. Or at least a cool, cool place to visit. 
might put another tower with some stairs like here that is like a cap to it so it's like a capital dome I think that'd be kind of cool you know shit I need 70 and I got 64 all right uh-huh Hmm. Let's see. The Boo Smith. A lot of these farmers lost their fucking minds, and that's fine because they're replaceable. They're fucking farmers. They wander off and they're like, oh, I will never drink booze again. And I go, okay. And they'll go, I mean it, I'm dying. And I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. Uh-oh. Trugath is throwing a tantrum. It's rare these original dwarves throw tantrums. ruh -roh. The moment after he reads this, he's going to message me. And be like, what did you do to my dwarf? And I, I, I will apologize profusely. Sorry, buddy. This is entirely my fault. I'll own up to that. Nice. Look at this. Look at how nice it all is. Kind of. Okay, that's why... It, okay, it's not great, but... Still, once this is all engraved... We'll have a good history. We'll have a very good history. Well, in theory. I think there will be an interesting history for all these dwarves. Oh, petition... yeah. We should have a really nice... A really nice, uh, fortress to dungeon dive. Oh, a human caravan. Thank fuck, normal people. I can trade like crazy with these fucks. Alright. Now I'm excited. Look at all these Iron Mail shirts we made. Look at that. That's awesome. That's not what I intend to sell. I wish to sell him my goblets. And yeah, we might be able to buy his whole fucking... Well, we might be able to buy everything, to be honest. Just take it and be like, uh, yeah, we need this. Thanks. Slowly putting a roof on everything. Is that guy trapped on the... No, he jumped over that. Okay. Look how nice this is. This is a nice fortress. Moses Febrizam. Febrizam. Febrit? Zam, or would it be Febrithzem? I don't know. He's the new mayor. La-di-da. 
What? What? What is? Why is he going around? That's probably because the construction going on. Whatever. Yeah, we're we're slowly building this place up. This is nice. I mean, we should be able to trade for a fuckload with these guys. And once I put a nice roof on everything, oh boy. Should be very pleasant. Should be very pleasant indeed. Because I know this trade depot is just chock full of shit that my doors aren't moving. So that's uh, a little crazy, to say the least. 142 population. Yeah, our stockpiles continue to increase. Our military continues to quote unquote be trained. But let's be honest, it's a paper military. I'm kind of hoping that if anything attacks, I can close the drawbridges and then they'll have to deal with the mercenaries first and kill everyone in that tavern who's a non-person at best. Petition available. Yeah. Trader requested a depot. Where is he? What is this? Is this that same you that was fucked up earlier? Yeah. Lower spine is mangled. Left front hoof is gone. So it's just dragging itself around on one leg and just like, oh my god. It's fucking horrible. And kind of funny, but mostly horrible. All right. I asked the trader to show up to the depot, and the fucker is being a fucking fuck, so. Uh. Giant piles of shit. That's what this fortress is now. Just piles of shit and a few people actually working and working hard at making crafts. It's just... Why are they suspending floor? Floor is fine. Continue to work on floor. Ignore the mauled animals. Ignore them. All is well. Uh, more of this depression shit. Uh, I hate it. All right, fine. Fine. Why are you not trading? He's like, I need water to live. And I'm like, you coward. These are the words of an elf. These are the words of an elf. It's this rain that's driving people crazy. The crazy rain. God, that sounds like a B-movie, doesn't it? The Crazy Rain, starring William Shatner as Farmer John. Alright, well. Another petition available. Yeah, we're gonna have so many bards, the game breaks. This'll be great. It'll be like a constant rock concert, except 
with a lot of different bands all playing different songs at once. So, jazz. See, I like jazz. I, I like I like jazz that actually, you know, like makes sense. Not the one where you have like four people playing four different songs in four different ways and and someone like nodding their head and going, get it? Because it's not music, but it is. And you're like, no, this is bullshit. It's like people who like abstract art where you can't tell the difference between parody and the real shit because it's all bullshit. I mean, it's probably best I'm not an art critic because I would probably say that a lot. This is bullshit. You traitor. Get to the fucking depot. Cancels dig. Shaken. Not stirred. We will banish the rain, friends. Mark my words. Ah, finally. Alright. Jesus. Look at this. Some of these bag. Oh my god. Some of the shit, oh, that's an artifact. I probably shouldn't sell, oh, well, I'm gonna sell it. Um, let's see. I will take, he brought, oh, wow. Wow, he, he bought a lot, brought a lot of stuff. I'm gonna buy his uh, stuff of cloth so we can make clothing. I think that'd be nice. Yeah, we, we should be able to turn out some major stuff with all this cloth. This should be nice. Wow. Jesus, he brought a lot of cloth. What is this, a cloth merchant's guild? Fuck it, I'll take it. Pages and pages of cloth. I'll take it. We need it. This should be more than enough cloth for us to make all new clothes for everybody. That'd be kind of exciting. Considering everyone's probably wearing, like, shit pants and everything else. Sorry, I had somebody ask a question. Mr. Tex, I need your opinion on something. I said, please give me a few minutes. I would like to play Dwarf Fortress. And they said, you know what? You're right. You play the fuck out of that. And then they put in parentheses badly. So, I'll let you know what kind of group the Legion is. I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. 
I'm not the sort of person who really likes people fanboying or whatever else. I don't like that at all. Doesn't make me feel good. Makes me feel dirty. Then I don't think you should ever really worship anyone. As crazy as that sounds, you know? That's like being me. I've told plenty of people, the moment I can be me, I'll nuke this channel. The moment I find that this isn't enjoyable anymore, this all disappears. But I feel honored in many ways. I've been able to use my pull in the world to help other people and make them suffer less. I've raised money for charity on TG with their toolboxes for good and more recently with Jupiter. I've used my Patreon money to fund people's creativity and help people out who are in a bind, send food to the hungry, send money to the poor. Help people I know and help them live their life better. So I'm thankful for that. I'm very thankful for that. Now let's see, what can I trade? Let's see if I can trade this artifact for all that. See if it flips everyone out. He's ecstatic with the trading. Alright, good. Now. Let's take all the food. We traded him an artifact. Some doors may go crazy, but whatever. Oh boy. Alright, let's grab all them. And I could easily trade, like, yeah, just a handful of mugs. It's fucking hilarious. What is that sound? Ugh. Here, have some cups, you fuck. Nope. Move it out. I got what I wanted. Metal, some milk, some other food, lots of cloth. And then, I can set up this guy and tell him to spin clothes. Socks, shoes, cloaks, whatever. Just make it. Should work, in theory. I mean, I'm glad that we're still going. This is a fort that has managed to surpass my uh, expectations. Next time around, I think I'm going to play a much smaller fort, like 40, 50 dwarves, put a cap on that through using the Lazy New Pack, modifying it. And uh, we'll get it going from there. Why do they keep suspending floor? Floor good. No hate.
No, make floor, no suspend. Floor good. This, this should be a good start, I think, at least for continuing our construction projects. All right. 60 are needed. Shit. I want to I want to build a road. Let's see what's next. I mean, dwarves are cleaning now, which is weird, but hey, you know, it happens. Not used to seeing anything near clean around this place. I'm um, used to more like this explosion of gore and stuff, where somebody walks in there and decides to start a fight. And, uh, yeah, that then, you know, the mercenaries in there, like, punch their face in? Oh, we need splints. It's been a while. Let's make some splints, shall we? Let's make some splints. Oh, down at the bottom. Jesus. Nice big piles of shit. And yeah, I, I think you could sum up the fort as that, really. Nice big piles of shit. It's a shit fort, Randers. Alrighty. We're getting there. Not a lot of mining left, and then I will have them do the deep mining, uh, after they- Oh my god, there's that fucking you that is just dragging itself around, screaming. It's just what I get as a mental image, it's just going, and as it clip-clops around. Well, not clip-clop, more like, clop, scrape, clop, scrape, clop, scrape. It's got like one functioning leg, and... A broken spine, and it just probably makes horrible animal noises as it drags itself around the fortress. Looking at you with hate in its eyes. That would be this fortress's emblem. Of all things, you know? I mean, God. The stockpiles. I mean, all this, all all this here needs to go, and we're just slowly emptying it. Because I mean, look at all this. It's just piled. It's just piled up. I, I can't even see the workshops anymore. I think they were turned over with that much shit in them, with tantrums, and they just flew everywhere. I mean, this is madness. This is glorious madness. I think that'll do for this episode. Hopefully soon we'll be able to see something really explode. Mmm, violence.